Welcome back to the channel everybody, Martin with Bellevue Auto Spa. Today's video, I want to show you guys um, something that I just used and it is um, really helpful for washing your car in cold conditions. Now, granted, I am in Texas and it is about 40, 45 degrees outside right now. Not super cold, but colder than I'd like it. So, excuse me, I feel like I'm going to sneeze, jeez. Um, I want to show you guys this uh, immersion heater I got. So immersion heaters are nothing new. Um, here's the box if you want to take a look at it. Uh, this is just some Chinese brand I got off Amazon. Um, it, it worked, it definitely worked. I don't know how long it's going to work for, but I guess time will tell. Um, but you, you know, you got to obviously uh, be careful of how you use these things. Um, this does draw a lot of electricity. So if you're trying to run multiple um, appliances off the same circuit, it's going to trip your GFCI. It tripped mine because I had my pressure washer plugged into the same circuit. Um, but this thing is great. It will take cold water and it'll heat it up in about 10 minutes. And it'll be hot enough that like it's hot to the touch. Not enough to like really burn your hands. Um, but pretty hot. I think it said it can get to the water up to like 190 degrees or something. So that's pretty good. I mean it's simple. Basically just you immerse this in water. Uh, make sure it's immersed in water first, and this whole part, all the way up here. Okay, so you immerse it in water, and you take the other end, and you plug it in. And once it's plugged in, it's on. Um, you don't want to uh, have this plugged in while it's out of the water. It can damage the unit. Um, so I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to take the temperature of uh, the bucket of water I just filled up. We'll leave it for 10 minutes or so, uh, and then we'll show how fast this heats the water. So I need to grab my thermostat, and I'll be right back. Of course, to you, it'll just be a second. Okay, so here is our, my little household thermometer. It's a little cheap thing. Um, it's about 50 degrees in, this, in the garage right now, as you can see. It's set to surface temperature, but I mean, you can take the surface temperature of things, and it's pretty spot accurate for surface temperature. So, okay. So let's go over to the bucket of water. So here's the bucket of water. Water temperature is... About 53 degrees. Take a few readings. Yeah, 53.1. Okay, so about 53 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to take this. All right, first thing you want to do, like I said, is put it in the water. So make sure uh, even up to that cap it's immersed. And it's got some water or some air in there. So Okay. And you're gonna to want to find your outlet. My outlet is right up there behind all this mess. So uh, let's try to do this with one hand. Plug it in. All right. Go back to the bucket. And again, you want to make sure it's in the water all the way. And guys, use an extension cord if you have to. I had to when I was actually using it. Um, but you know, I'm just trying to show this on camera right now. Um, but let me see. I did notice as soon as I plugged it in, I could see you could see the heat. I don't know if the camera is going to catch that as much, but you see the uh, how it's kind of wavy around it. The water looks kind of wavy. That is the heating element. I mean, it starts to heat instantly. Okay, <laughs> so. This stuff works pretty good. I'll take the temperature of the water right there real quick. Look at that, 72 degrees. Now again, that's just around the heater because if I go over to the side right here, 65 degrees, 72 degrees. But you know, if I take the temperature of the floor over here, floor is 49 degrees, if it'll show up. There we go. So, I mean, already, <laughs> It heated the water up, you know, about 10 degrees in a localized area. So I'll tell you what, guys. I'm going to check on this in five minutes, okay? Um, it is 621 right now. I'll come back at 626, and we'll see what the temperature is. All right, so it's been about five minutes. Uh, it is still heating up. Let's take a temperature reading. About 79 degrees, just after five minutes. This is just a three gallon water bucket, 81 degrees right there, 77, 
78, 80. So it's about 78, 79 degrees. Um, so I'm going to let this sit a little while longer just to show you guys how hot this gets. Okay. Uh, so I'll come back in a little bit. I'll show you how long it's been. Um, I mean, this thing is still heating up. The bucket feels a little warm. Um, keep in mind, you know, if you got bigger buckets, bigger containers, it's not going to heat up as fast. It might not heat up as hot. Um, I think this thing is designed for like five gallon buckets and things around that size. Um, but we're going to let it keep heating up and we'll be back and see how it is. All right, guys, so it's been about 10 minutes now. See, it's 631. Uh, we'll take the temperature. We're at about 94 degrees. So, I mean, in five minutes, it's already heated up about 15 degrees. And look at that. So that's going to keep heating up above 100 degrees. Um, and again, you know, it's still about 50 degrees in this room. I take the temperature. About 49, 50 degrees. And it's only getting colder in here. Um, so I'm going to let it go. I'm just going to let it go until it uh, heats up. And then I'll show you guys how it is. Because, um, you know, eventually you can... I don't know if you can already see, but there's some steam already showing. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's really going to show the steam too well. There you go. You kind of see the steam coming off the water. So, I mean, this stuff's great, and, you know, it doesn't melt the bucket or anything because it's submerged in water. So, uh, I'm going to let this keep going. I'm going to come back and see how, uh, how hot it is. All right, guys and girls, we're at about 15 minutes, so let's see what the temperature reading is. 108 degrees. 111. Uh, 108. 109. Let's see if we kind of mix the water around. All right. About the same. So yeah, the water is heated evenly. I mean, that is, it's, I can feel the heat coming off it. Um, and I mean, this thing will just continue to heat up and heat up and heat up. Uh, I think it said it tops out around 190 degrees. Um, I mean, you heat it up to however hot you need it, as long as you're using a bucket. I mean, this thing's continuing to heat, but I'm not going to bore you with the finer details. Um, I'll tell you what, if you comment below after, I'm going to, I'm going to stop the video and then continue to heat it up. Um, but if you comment below, I'll, I'll tell you what the uh, max temperature was, and I'll try to take a picture and post it. Um, I'll, I'll try to do a post on here just to show you guys what the max temperature is. Uh, but anyways, the way you undo it, you, you know, you unplug it first. Take it out of the water. So make sure you unplug it first. It's very important. Then you take it out of the water, and that's it. And this thing is, the you know, it's, it, this is a heat shield on the outside to protect the heating element. So you can grab it, you know, and you don't burn yourself. So that's good, especially if you got kids. I mean, I got a little one, so I understand that. Um, but anyways, let's go in for the final thoughts. All right, guys. So yeah, an immersion water heater. Uh, this is a great way to keep your hands warm um, because dipping your hands in the water, they'll, they'll friggin' freeze. Um, also, if you're a mobile detailer and you got a water tank, this is how you can keep your water tank from freezing. Um, if you're storing it overnight, you know, if you can get somewhere you can plug it in, uh, throw that in your water tank and it'll keep your water from freezing overnight um, because I know that can cause problems for your water tanks. Uh, there's a lot of uses for this, um, but again, you know, mainly it's just for, for me personally, if I'm washing my car and I want to keep my hands warm and it's cold outside, I'll, I'll plug this in, I'll, I'll put it in the bucket, I'll, basically I'll fill up my water bucket, I'll plug this thing in. And then I'll, I'll continue the rest of my setup. And by the time I get around to cleaning the car, because usually I do the wheels first, my bucket's nice and hot. And after i got one hot bucket, I'll usually put it in my other bucket because I do the two-bucket method. And then I've got two nice hot, um, you know, hot water. So I'm dipping my hands in there and I'm not freezing. You can take it a step further, you know, by putting uh, gloves on, which you should be wearing anyways in your detailing, keep the chemicals off your hands. But, you know, this this thing, is, it's great. Um, you know, I definitely recommend it. If... Um, you know, you're, you're somewhere where it gets cold, you can use it in your garage, you can use it outside. I'm sure you can come up with uh, all, all kinds of ways, you know, with extension cords and such to use it, guys. So um, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. You know, if you find this useful, let me know. Um, you know, any any information I can give that helps people out, I really, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that I can do that for you guys. 
Um, but if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Um, I appreciate everyone that does subscribe or contributes, even watches the video. Thank you. And stay tuned, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.